Welcome to the Flatsum e-commerce WordPress theme tutorial. My name is Peter Krushek, and in this episode, we're going to talk about sidebars and widgets. I know, probably not the most exciting thing, but believe it or not, in Flatsum, we got some really cool things going on, especially if you installed all the plugins that Flatsum told you to. So what is a sidebar? If you've been using WordPress for a while or browsing the internet, you kind of know what it is. It's this stuff, and at least on my page, here on the left side. The main content is all here in the middle-ish, and the sidebar is extra information, generally helper information, stuff you can click on, promotional items, ads, those kinds of things. Here on the shop page though, what I have is a very simple sidebar setup. You can search for a product, you can click on one of the categories instead of clicking on them here, you can click on them right here. You can filter the category stuff by price, and I have the top rated products by cell count over here. That's what my sidebar is for my shop page. This is of course my demo page, so the sidebar isn't all too useful. So let me give you some quick live examples. This is our own store page and our sidebar is very, very, very simple in a specific page. We have product categories, we can select the categories of our stuff in a drop down, and promotional stuff. Pretty simple. Amazon, on the other hand, has a very complicated sidebar. All of this stuff, as you know, changes based on what you're looking at, what's going on, their deals, it, it's going crazy. This stuff is a custom thing, these are non-standard, but this is actually pretty easy to do. That's just showing what categories are under the current category that we're looking by. And these are kind of sort of more or less uh, dynamic filters. We don't have that as yet, at least not as crazy as this, but it's sort of doable. We have reviews, this stuff, this stuff is kind of easy against dynamic, you know, list for the given products that we have here, what, you know, what are the vendors, et cetera, et cetera. This part can get a little complicated. They have an ad, more ads, and that's their sidebar, at least on this specific page. And each sidebar for each one of their categories is different. So how do we achieve something kind of resembling this wackiness and awesomeness? Well, it's a great question because Flatsum allows you to do something almost as complicated which is a really good thing. Here we have a very simple, very, very simple sidebar, but we can get a little bit crazy because watch this. Here's the sidebar, normal one, right? Now, if I click into this specific category, which I've set up some stuff, hey, check this out. The whole sidebar changed. And I have filters, I have tags. I left this one in here on purpose, but oh yeah, we can definitely set sidebars per page. So. Let me show you what's going on here. We have our usual sidebars. We have the sidebar, the default one, we have the sidebar just on the shop page, which is this stuff. And by the way, this sidebar is gonna show on any page, this default sidebar is gonna show on any page where the sidebar is enabled and you don't have any other thing else set for that page, for the sidebars that is. So this is what's gonna show. Footer one and footer two, we covered that in the basic uh, basics course. That's this stuff in the funky footers course. So that's that. But let me show you something. Here's the product sidebar. I'm not going to get into that just yet, but you might have noticed that I already set this up. Peter's Stuff Widget Area. Well, that doesn't really look standard, now does it? Nope, because I made this one. Yep, I made a custom sidebar where I can put my own widgets specific for this page. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The first thing you want to do is, of course, get to the back end. Now, look under Appearance on this left menu. We of course have the widgets. We all know what that does. We can add these little fun things in here, but check out this. We have something called widget areas. If you've installed all the plugins for Flatsum, especially a plugin called Woo Sidebars, you can get this. This will allow you to make a custom sidebar for practically any page, any topic, any tag, any product. You can't really go to a specific product just yet, but any specific product category, any post category, any page. Uh, you can do a lot with this, but it does get a little bit complicated. So let me show you what I've done for Peter's Stuff Widget Area. As you saw before, I have Peter's Stuff <laughs> Widget Area. I love my little silly name. I give it a description, which by the way, you, you don't need, but if you're gonna have a whole bunch of custom ones, it's probably a good idea to tell yourself where things are going to be. This is not going to be shown to anybody except you here in the back end. Now, what you normally see when you create something is 
something like this. You only get to pick from your available existing pages. Well, you have to click advanced to get the advanced features. And the advanced features, you can click select pages, page templates, post types. So types of post, whether it's a, a video post, et cetera, et cetera. Those types of posts. Taxonomy archives, which is the types of things. Ugh, this gets a little bit complicated, honestly. But it's the type of things that a post essentially is. Um, so let me describe that a little bit because uh, taxonomy archives, uh, taxonomies are, well, the categories, shipping classes, because more or less everything in uh, WordPress is more or less a type of a post. A page is, is more or less a type of a post. It gets really complicated. But the types of things you can work there. The terms is where you're probably going to be most interested in. Not this stuff, but the taxonomy terms. This is where it gets fun because now I can specifically pick what types of post categories I want it to be on. I don't have many categories here, but if I want this sidebar to be shown on all press posts, for example, if I'm publishing updates, say, like, hey, you know, we've been in the news and so and so, or we're launching a new product, congratulations, et cetera, et cetera. And, I, and it's a press post, of course, you get like a press release. And then I could click here in the press, click update or save, of course, and then it'll be shown on all press type posts, which is cool. Now we have product categories, and that's how I did that one. I have a product category called Peter Stuff. See, my product category, Peter Stuff. And that's where I'm showing it, just on Peter Stuff, nothing else. If I were to click on products inside Peter Stuff in instead of Peter Stuff, like this, then it wouldn't show here. It would only show up here ish if I enable the sidebar. But I'm going to leave it at Peter Stuff, product tags. And I've added a whole bunch of random tags uh, that I have here. Um, this would more or less be for the archives of those tags. But if I want to if I tag a product with the awesome tag, then it'll show on that page. This categories button, I wish they kind of made it better, but if you mouse over it, it'll show you it's the taxonomy token for featured item categories. So this stuff, I know it gets confusing. We have categories here and categories here, but if you mouse over, you'll see what it's really associated with. This one is for featured items. Tags, same thing. And then we have the template hierarchy. Uh, it's kind of more or less on which template archive you want it to show on. Don't worry about it. This one is not that useful. And we have WooCommerce, specifically only for WooCommerce related things like the shop page in general, the product categories in general, tags in general, products in general, the cart page, checkout page, if you have a sidebar there, which I don't recommend on either of those. Either of those or the account page. Basically, the if somebody were to, a user, not an administrator, were to click and see the their version of the back end, that's, if you want a sidebar, that's where it would be. Primarily, what I've been using is the taxonomy terms for product categories, categories, and stuff like that. There's not much else uh, to click through because um, I really sometimes want the stuff of the nitty gritty, so I usually just stick to taxonomy terms. When I started recording this video, I forgot that I didn't add any tags to any of my posts. I only had post categories. But once you have an active blog with actual posts and po posts with categories and posts with tags, then you also see this one here. And I'm sorry that I didn't put that earlier. But you have post categories, post tags. This one's featured item categories and featured item tags. So that's where that is. I'll mostly be using tags and categories for my pages um, and product categories and product tags. Well, actually, I, I don't use that one as much because I generally just keep it on product categories because I keep it the, on, on this type of stuff because I don't want to get too nitty gritty. Last but not least, and actually probably one of the more important items is which sidebar you want to replace. This has to, has to, has to be set because here you can say where it's going to show but now we have to say what spot of the default sidebars is it going to go into. Now, in my example of Peter's stuff widget area, I'm replacing uh, the sidebar just for product categories for the category named Peter's stuff. And because it's a product category, well, I'm replacing 
the shop sidebar, right? So I have to set this to shop sidebar because if I set it to just sidebar product sidebar, well, neither of those is shown here at all. This only shows the shop sidebar. So let's go through creating a brand new widget area where we're going to replace the cats category sidebar with its own little thing. And I'm gonna show you how it pops up and what you can do with that. So I'm gonna add a brand new sidebar. I'm gonna call it replace the kitty. I'm gonna give it a description just so I know what it is. Meow. I'm gonna pick taxonomy terms, product categories, cats. So when I click inside the cat category, that category archive page, just showing me the stuff inside of the cats category is going to change. But which one? Because it's a WooCommerce thing, I'm gonna change the shop sidebar. And that's it, seriously, that easy. Click publish, great. But lo and behold, well, nothing changed. Well, why is that? Simple. In WordPress, when a sidebar widget area has no content in it, no widgets in it, it's going to use the parent or the overriding default sidebar for that space. So even though we said, hey, you know, use a custom sidebar in the cats category specifically here, well, we didn't put anything in the special sidebar, so it uses the default one, which is the shop sidebar. So in order to fix that, we got to go back in here under appearance. Now we go to widgets. Now see, great, we have a brand new area called replace the kitty. Now I'm gonna make something different here just so I can show you that it really is different. Let's add a tag cloud for hmm, product categories. You probably don't wanna do this one uh, specifically about that you know, quick, quick example. And let's add something. Really up. Let's add this guy and let's add the archives. Now let's refresh this page. Sweet. See, now it has the stuff we just put in there in here. Now this is pretty cool if you ask me. So that's more or less how you use these widget areas. You create one, you set where you want it to be on specific pages, and well, I don't use page templates much, which types of posts, this stuff. This is where I usually use stuff, the post categories, post tags, product categories, product tags. And it's that simple. And you gotta then just remember that you gotta replace this. And yes, by the way, you can replace a footer and you can replace a footer on all the pages, on all pages. I mean, if you wanna replace on everything, then you'd have to select all of these guys. And you can do that. So that's how I use custom sidebars and creating them. It really is simple. If you've enjoyed this session, check out the advanced course where I talk about this specific topic in great more, more depth, take you through many more examples, show you the best practices for creating custom sidebars and how you actually can get something as powerful as this going there. So check out the advanced course by clicking the link in the description below. Again, so if you like this, click subscribe to get more videos like this. Check out the other videos that I have by clicking the playlist button and checking out my channel. And if you're interested in more, check out the advanced course. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you really enjoyed this course and want to learn more, you can check out the advanced course by clicking here. In the advanced course, we go over much more of this, go really in depth and go over a lot of topics that we can't go over in the basic course. If you love what you've seen here and want to get more free videos, click subscribe over here or click right here to get more videos. Thanks. This only shows the shop, 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 sidebar. Whoop, well, not WooCommerce really, but the, and then it goes into the sidebar, sidebar, sidebar. And then we click here, click. Why aren't you clicking? Oy.